Good evening campers, uh, Country Comfort here. Usually on my channel we're uh, talking food, having fun, tall jokes, um, fellowship, good place for, for folks to gather just to chat. Um, I don't do a whole lot of drama, uh, usually my channel is a drama free zone. Uh, go back and check any of the, the videos. Um, might get a couple of good uh, good ideas for dinner uh, for a night. Um, I normally don't talk politics, but uh, I feel a little compelled to speak out about this. Uh, number one, Misty brought it to my attention earlier today, um, and I've seen videos popping up and, and uh, links popping up to news stories and, and everybody going crazy uh, over this. So I just want to take a second and uh, talk with you guys and, and, and put things in perspective and tell everybody, hey, look, stop. Take a collective breath, relax. Things are not going off the wheels yet, okay? Um, Misty brought to my attention that there was an announcement and a change in the Selective Service Registration. Um, way back, going all the way back to when I was a teenager, don't ask, it's not polite, it's many years ago, that's all we'll say, uh, you were required to register voluntarily for the selective service once you turned 18, um, which, you know, hey, everybody did. It's your civic responsibility. It's kind of like jury duty, you know. Um, <clears throat> it was for males only. It is still for males only. No change. The change today, uh, which is not even really a change yet, it's, it's the House of Representatives passed a bill stating that if this becomes a law, the Selective Service registration will now be automatic and will include legal immigrants, where uh, legal immigrants have not necessarily been included before, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it gives another path to citizenship uh, to immigrants, and, and that's that's a good thing if that's you know if you don't have another way of going and you want to become a citizen um you know if not it's uh, part of your civic duty for being here in the united states whether you're a registered uh green card carrying alien or whether you're a citizen uh so a couple things before everybody goes ah oh, it starts pulling down statues and you know whatnot uh first like i said the house of representatives passed the bill it's a bill it's still got to go through the Senate, and it's got to be signed off by the president. Now let's think for just a second. Going back, when was the last time that you saw the House, the Senate, and the president all agree on something together, work together and get it done? Doesn't happen anymore. There's arguing, there's bitter infighting, there's name calling, there's food fights. Well, probably, maybe. Who knows? Um, you know, it, it, it's not a done deal, okay? Number one. Number two, when was the last draft exactly? Let's let's look back in history. Oh, wait, it was 1985 during the Vietnam War. So what if we really changed with this bill? We were required as men to males to register before it's going to be automatic. Um, okay, immigrants weren't necessarily required. Now they are. Again, you know, if you're in the States, whether you're a green card carrying alien on permanent residence uh, or, or, you know, if you're a, a, a citizen, okay, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's nothing new. Um, they didn't include females before. They're not including females now. So what are we really getting upset about? The fact that the House passed a bill? That doesn't mean shit yet? Come on, guys. Take a breath. Sit back. Let the government do its thing. Um, you know, the lobbyists will speak one way. The, the other lobbyists will speak another way. And maybe it'll pass. Maybe it won't pass. But getting up in arms before it's really a thing... It's not a thing. So let's all just kind of chillax 
And remember what's important, family. Stick with that. And we'll let the rest happen as it happens.